we just got stuck we're turning around there's power lines and uh, trees blocking the road we cannot get out other people attempting to evacuate did you turn that coleman off the house Never on. That's good. And now we're heading back towards where we live, which the inevitable we didn't think was going to happen. It's starting to happen. That's a cabin. There's down my road. Oh, shit. God. Thanks, Lord. We'll get out of it. Hit the gas. I can't see. You can see. Everything is burning around. There's every cabin. Everything. Make it across that road. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. You're good. Wow. It's okay, Red. Fuck. Hit the gas. Hit the gas. It's too hot in here. Don't worry about the lines. Why is every cabin on fire? Fuck. I don't, I don't think... I don't know about this. Oh my god. Well, at least the tree. Dude, this, this started a natty branch. We're going the wrong way. What? If we can make it to the welcome center. It's okay, Red. They're not even trying to put this shit out. No warning, nothing. Not one single warning on the news. And you're telling me nobody knew. Almost every cabin in Chalet Village is burning to the freaking ground. It's okay, babe. Come here. I know your eyes are burning. Oh, God. It was a beautiful cabin. Please, Lord, let us get off this mountain. Oh, shit. Go, go, go. We don't need a flat right here. Fuck! Go through it. Go through it. I can't. Fuck. I cannot be stuck. Here, hold on. Hold on. Fuck, oh, dude. We are fucked. Shit. We gotta get out of here. Keep her in here. 
Oh man. We gotta get out of here. How's that dish look? Not good. I try it on the left side where these sticks are short, get a running start. is actually orange it's turning like a it looks kind of gray but there are ashes flying in the air um there's not a single pedestrian walking for as far as i can see down there um a few cars on the road but not many pretty desperate around um usually there are people walking all up and down but there aren't um but yeah the sky is filled with smoke um, it just doesn't do it justice on the video, but I thought I would just try to get a video of it. Breaking news, Gatlinburg is in danger, a mandatory evacuation in effect, and the National Guard is now mobilized, all due to wildfires raging tonight. Yeah, take a look at this video posted to social media of evacuees racing against the flames to get out of the Gatlinburg area tonight. They're fleeing after days of smoke filling the popular vacation spot. Voluntary evacuations had already been in effect over air quality issues from more than a dozen fires burning in the Great Smoky Mountain area. And the situation is growing more desperate. This is video posted to Twitter that appears to show flames outside one of the Park Vista Hilton hotels there. Fire crews confirm at this hour some structures are indeed in danger. And late tonight, the National Guard was mobilized to help. But there could be more help coming. Meteorologist Bree Smith. Fueled by tinder dry forests and high winds, wildfires tore through thousands of hectares of open country in northern Peru. Local farmers and residents said there was little time to save belongings, as firemen did what they could. As you can see, it is not easy to deal with fire. It is our worst enemy. Farm and pasture lands were no match against the fire. Firefighters, local volunteers and park guards battled the flames, often without enough water. Peru declared a state of emergency in parts of the country. This will permit the national government to continue mobilizing people, resources and equipment in order to confront these fires and attend to the population that has been affected. Fires also hit more than five protected natural areas, such as the Lucky Pampa Wildlife Refuge, home to South America's only native bear, the rare spectacled bear. Scientists say droughts in South America are more frequent and more intense, and this could be linked to climate change. In Peru, farmers were using fire to clear land for crops, getting ready for the rainy season. But the rains never came. A special brigade of firefighters, normally stationed at the Inca citadel of Machu Picchu, has been sent to tackle the blaze. The strength and extent of the fires took Peru by surprise. Authorities have accepted they need to be better prepared next time. Dan Collins, Peru. Costa Ricans prepare for the worst as Hurricane Otto bears down on the small Central American country. Hundreds of families in low-lying coastal areas left their homes as the storm churned just off the east coast. Floods can last 30 days in Baradell, Colorado and we are taking advantage of the government having sent planes, boats and everything to evacuate. Even before making landfall, Hurricane Otto dumped heavy rains on some areas of Costa Rica, leading to flooding. Costa Rica's president declared a state of emergency. The situation is critical in the Barras area, where there is torrential rain in this part of the country. It has also started to rain in other areas. Heavy wind and rain slammed into neighboring Panama on Tuesday, leaving a trail of destruction. Government officials said about 50 houses were destroyed by mudslides. At least three people were killed in Panama by the effects of Hurricane Otto, 
both by falling debris, mudslides and flooded rivers. Nicaraguans along the Caribbean coast also prepared for the possibility of flash floods and mudslides. Many still remember a hurricane that hit in 1988, killing more than 200 people. I pray to God that it doesn't happen the same thing. We are all getting prepared. People are aware of what's happening. Otto is the strongest Atlantic hurricane that's ever been recorded so far west and so far south. Bad news for Central Americans now bracing for the impact. David Mercer, Al Jazeera. Otto was the first hurricane ever known to have hit Costa Rica and it caused a national emergency to be declared. In a tweet, Costa Rica's president said that at least nine people had been killed and 2,500 evacuated. He declared three days of national mourning. At least another six people are also known to be missing. Otto battered the country with high winds and torrential rain after it arrived on Thursday morning. Severe weather caused by Otto killed four people in Panama earlier in the week. Now an extensive clean-up operation is underway, and among the debris, one dog was rescued. After leaving Costa Rica, Otto weakened into a tropical storm. Little more than two weeks after Italian scientists warned climate change had put much of the country at risk of flooding, parts of the northwest have been inundated by heavy rain. Torrential downpours caused the Piedmont region's Tarnaro River to burst its banks, prompting local officials to ask the government to declare a state of emergency. Two days of continual rain has had a similar impact on Turin, where the Po River also flooded. The region of Liguria has been hit hard and a red alert warning for bad weather issued. Meteorologists have warned of possible gale force winds sweeping in over the coast. In Ventimiglia, near the border with France, five migrants were reportedly swept away after a swell hit the bridge they were living under. Four were saved, but a Nigerian man is still missing, presumed drowned. The impact of days of bad weather in northern Italy. This was Imperia on Friday, some 50 kilometers from the French border. An elderly fisherman died in the surrounding Liguria region. At least two others are missing in northern Italy, another in Sicily. As rivers broke their banks, in Turin, two tourist boats were swept away until their path was barred. The Prime Minister visited the city where the flooding has caused havoc. Referring to floods over 20 years ago that killed dozens of people, Matteo Renzi said, the work that's been done since has allowed us to face an emergency situation very close to that of 1994. At the moment, the management of this situation has been flawless, especially with ordinary citizens taking part. Bridges and roads closed, cars carried off by the floods, hundreds of people evacuated, others in trouble too. Two regions in northern Italy have been on red alert over flooding since Thursday. A state of natural disaster has been declared, paving the way for national funds and resources to be deployed. Unless the world stops burning fossil fuels that are fueling global warming, irreversible changes in the Arctic could have disastrous effects for the people that live there and for the rest of the planet. That's the conclusion of a report from the Arctic Council, who say the frozen region's ecosystems are fundamentally threatened by climate change and other human activities. The Arctic is much more connected to the rest of the planet, especially the climate system, than most of us think about. So the climate change that we're sending to the Arctic through greenhouse gases and, and uh, warming is, is likely to come back to us. 
Another study has found that a deep crack in the ice shelf itself led to a huge iceberg breaking adrift in the Antarctic in 2015. Experts think it's the first time a subsurface rift has been found in the Antarctic ice shelf. And higher water temperatures in warmer parts of the world in 2016 led to the worst destruction of corals ever recorded on Australia's Great Barrier Reef. The northern section of the reef is worst hit.